I can add it in. <laughs> Cat and I in advance for the horrible quality <laughs> my phone which I normally film on which honestly isn't great but my phone is in repair and I won't have it for two weeks so I'm currently filming on my iPad I just organized all my meds all my boxes are nice and organized always feels really satisfying seeing everything filled but I this morning woke up and my heart rate was going up to 160, which is not great, but every time I sat back down, um, it was going down to 120s, and then as the day progressed, if I was lying down long enough, I could get it down to the low 100s, so I wasn't too, too worried. Um, <laughs> I wasn't going to rush to the ER about it. Um, I'm going to head to bed. up at the cardiologist. Woo! Um, we're gonna schedule an ablation. I'm honestly not that excited, but it's okay. Um, it's gonna be in maybe like a month, month and a half, two months, somewhere between there, which means that's a whole like month to two months of time for me to have another really bad attack, but it's okay. We'll do what we do. Um, I'm gonna go home. Well, I'm driving home now, and then I'm going to probably spend the next few hours on the phone with doctor's offices. So, such an exciting life I live. What's up? I'm in bed. I got home from the doctors. I got in bed and I slept. And I haven't really got out of bed again. I'm really dizzy. I'm really tired. I'm really cold all the time. I haven't been able to eat anything yet today. I've had maybe that much water. A quarter of my water bottle. I just feel bad. But we're gonna schedule an ablation for my heart. <laughs> In the doctor's office, they were like, okay, you know, we're gonna do this. I was like, all right. And I'm like, if that goes wrong, you may need a pacemaker. I was like, okay, whatever. Let's get it done. Let's do it. Um, my mom was definitely a little bit more emotional about the whole thing. Um, my parents live in Ghana, Africa. So they're a little bit far away and with COVID, it's really hard for traveling and I know her passport right now they're having issues with. So, you know, I think she definitely wants to come back and, you know, be with me, but I don't know if it's going to happen. And I mean, it's just an ablation. It's not a huge deal. It's not even a full surgery. So I'm not worried about it. I have, you know, I have friends here in the city. I can make them drive me there and back and, um... Yeah, so we'll, I'll be fine. Um, we'll make it work, we'll make it happen. I feel so bad. I ate some soup and it hurts. And it's not much soup. It wasn't much, it was mostly broth. So I don't know how many calories are even in my body right now. Not many. And I'm really worried. I feel cold. I can feel myself losing muscle mass. I feel really bad. And um, I did CT scans like a week ago. And I got the results. And like in my like patient portal stuff. Um, but then I don't know where else they went. So I'm trying to get, I've been trying to talk to the GI about it for a while. I spent all afternoon calling different doctor's offices. <laughs> I 
I am kind of worried about how much I'm eating right now. I don't think, I mean, I know it's not healthy, and I don't want to get to a point where it's really, really bad. Um, I'm kind of caught in a debate of, like, do I go to the ER or do I just wait? What do I do? Like, I can't just not eat. So, I'm hoping, I'm calling them as soon as they're open tomorrow. I'm going to see what they want me to do. I'm going to have them take a look at the scans, see if they want me to come in, um, see if they want to do anything. Because basically the CT scans, I don't actually know if I've watched this, the CT scans showed that there was something in my descending colon. Um, the doctor who analyzed them said it looked like ingested material. Um, so it's probably either an issue with my stomach not digesting things or, um, stuff not being absorbed by my large uh, intestine, so it's one or the other. Um, but, what was I gonna say? Um, I'm pretty sure it's, like, completely blocked off everything at this point. I've had, like, very, very little bowel movement in the past week, two weeks, so almost everything I'm eating is just not going anywhere. It's just sitting in my body. But we're gonna, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning call the GI, see what they want me to do, and we'll go from there. I think I technically work tomorrow, um, and depending on what they tell me to do, and depending on how I feel, I may or may not go in. We'll see. Um, I didn't even go to my classes today, which, if you know me, I never miss my classes, so that's crazy. I just, I feel so bad. So, that's, that's what's happening right now. This is kind of what that floating is looking like. I have decided to drink water and get something else to eat. French fries, because they always are one of the safe foods I can always eat, like oven baked french fries. So I have french fries right here. Indulge myself, I'm gonna watch Frozen. I got in at 10 a.m., I believe, and it's currently 7.40. Long day. <laughs> I was supposed to get off at 6, but someone called out, and they asked me to stay, and I did for almost two extra hours, hour and a half extra. With I had a few, a very little amount of rice checks this morning. I had a sip of my smoothie at lunch and couldn't eat anything else and like half a water bottle today, that's it. And I've been running around the parking lot, running around the grocery store. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and go from there. My blood. You said you drank it. Like under specific circumstances. <laughs> How many times do you think it took to stick me though? Like so many times. So long. It seems like your blood might survive or something. I feel like I'm kind of There's blood everywhere. You <laughs> 60 for 120 minutes. Seriously, because we're us. I'm like a flute. <laughs> it's funny because your vlog will not be able to hear what is. What is I can add it in. <laughs> Cat and I do. I'm just vibing to your vibe. <laughs> I don't know what I'm vibing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good morning. We got home around two o'clock last night. Um, they decided to discharge me, get me some meds, see how that works, and then go from there. Um, yeah, so they gave me like some laxative type stuff. Um, they gave me a few different things. I need to go pick those up today, so. The next few days, I will either spend on the toilet or I'll be heading to the ER again this weekend. We'll see um, what happens and we'll just go from there. But I am really tired. It's around noon right now. But I'm in a lot of pain. It hurts. <laughs> so I'm really hoping this works because I need to eat. <laughs> And I want this to go away. I'm in genuinely so much pain. So, yeah. I got my meds, so I'm about ready to take them. The first one is in my tea, which is kind of nice because I like tea, so I get to drink tea. Um, the other one is about to go up my butt. Fun. And I just made a bowl of pasta. It's already like halfway eaten because I was just so hungry. But yeah, it's delicious. It's not how I normally would make it. Definitely, like, I barely put on any butter um, just because uh, gastroparesis diet is low fiber, low fat, six meals a day rather than three small meals. Six <laughs> small meals. So I'm already hiccuping. Um, but yeah. I'm heading to the shops without my hearing aids because I have a migraine and in Christmas pajama pants because I just don't care. Good morning. It's like 6 a.m. I woke up like half an hour ago, which is weird because I went to bed like 1 a.m. I'm so tired. Just see my bags. <sighs> Hello. Today is going to be day two for taking um, my meds from the ER and everything, so gross, but basically, yeah, day two. I'm gonna go ahead and take my meds right now, and then I'm gonna work on some math homework while everything kicks in, <laughs> and I'll go take a shower. So that's the plan for the day. showered with Freddy. As you can see, I have some cuts along here. This is from the tape. <laughs> the reaction from the tape. These ones are blisters, actually, that popped. And then they wrap around to my back, too. That one. This one's a pimple, but <laughs> that is all blister right there. So that's fun. And then, for some reason, I have like popped veins on my arm. I don't know how well you can even see them, but it's like bruising and popped veins. Like it looks like a vein, vein burst. I don't know why that would have happened. I can't, nothing happened on this arm for that to do that. And then of course there is my <laughs> bruising from the IV that wraps around my entire elbow. Ouch. Good morning, I just woke up and I just got a package for Amazon and it's a backpack. So this wasn't actually supposed to get here till Monday and it's currently Friday so I'm super excited that it's here and basically I ordered this backpack because I currently have this backpack that I use to put all my medical stuff in and I kind of keep it with me everywhere. It has my emergency meds, has everything. Um, has like Purell, hand sanitizer, yeah, I keep my wallet on me, things like that, that, um, you know, I would just need in emergency situations. So I keep it with me, um, 
all the time. And it's okay. It's a little on like the smaller-ish side and it's very unorganized because it just kind of has one main pocket and that's it. So, I wanted to get a different backpack that has more room for organization and stuff so I can actually organize my medical stuff a lot better. Um, and I'm so excited. Okay guys, I just got a plain gray color because this is um, like okay for my work dress code. Um, so I can bring it with me and keep it with me at work. Um, but there's other colors that I think I want to get after I've shown that this backpack is useful and very nice. So, front pocket, pretty basic, pretty nice and big though, very nice. And then there's like two side spots, two side pockets here, um, which are nice. Then you have a back zippy for like little papers and stuff, which is great to keep like you know, my medical IDs and stuff right here, that way it's easy to access. Um, and then this handle is so cute, first of all. Nice and easy to carry around. The inside though, there's a zipper here, pocket here, little pockets. The inside is like huge. And then there's more pockets on this side. So there's lots of places to keep stuff organized. And it is just oh, my dream backpack right here. My little Purell dude, he hangs in my bag. He's just chilling. He's a little healthy ducky. Just like a cotton candy scent. But look. Oh, that looks demonic in the dark. <laughs> it lights up though. <laughs> He's cute. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday. The last day I'll be vlogging for this week, and the last day I'm taking my meds, so I've already finished the first half. Time to do the second half, and then that's it, we're done. I'm so excited to be finally done. And the rest of the day is going to be spent on homework, so that's my plan for the day. Good evening. Ooh, my hair is going everywhere tonight. Um, it is Saturday evening. I'm going to sign off on the vlog, but I figured I'd give a quick rundown of the past few days. So, um, I haven't had any, like, bowel movements in the past, like, two weeks. This is as of, like, Tuesday. I hadn't had, like, any bowel movements. Um, I tried to get into contact with my GI last Friday. Couldn't get a hold of him. Um, kind of spent the weekend working, feeling miserable couldn't get a hold of them Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> so Tuesday night I went to the ER um, because I stopped eating over the weekend, like I couldn't even get anything down. Um, they gave me some meds, it was like four days of being on these meds. <sighs> Today was the last day, but they were awful. I've been in bed for the past several days, just like, I don't even have energy to get up and move. I don't really have energy to do anything. My intestines have been hurting so much. Like, it's just, I, it hurts for me to be sitting up or to be doing anything. Um, and I'm just really cold, so I'm staying in bed with all my heated blankets. Um, not moving much because, ouch. Um, I'm also tired, so I haven't been working on schoolwork the way I need to be. And it's just been a really disheartening week. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I was really hoping this week would maybe turn around for me, but next week I have an appointment with my GI on Monday, I'm seeing my primary on Tuesday. We'll, we'll put together an action plan, we'll see what's, hopefully figure out what's happening. We'll get to the bottom of this. I am <laughs> optimistic that next week's going to be a good week, but I'm also like not holding out hope for it. So we'll just see. We'll see. I just hope that GI will have more answers for me on Monday because last time I went <laughs> was a week and a half ago and I was having a really severe SVT attack. So they, we didn't get to talk much um, and they just ordered a gastric empty eating scan and then I went to the ER. So <laughs> it was kind of an anticlimactic GI appointment um, and I'm just still not still not improving with my GI tract, so <laughs> oh, my life is a mess between my heart 
and my GI track. Nothing's working. And then throw on all of my other EDS and everything else that's like causing issues. <laughs> it's been, it's been a time. It's been a week. I haven't felt very great this week at all. Um, I'm just, I'm just tired um, physically and I think mentally and I'm starting to really like think about school and work and what's practical for me right now and we'll see. I'm not making any decisions anytime soon. I'm registered for classes for next quarter and well for one class I'm pretty set on seeing that out but we'll see what my primary has to say on Tuesday and yeah we'll just go from there. Overall this week has been a little this week has been uneventful. I ended up in the ER. <laughs> you know, one ER trip it was, I'll, I'll take that. I spent the rest of the week in bed. Oh, I did do, a, I did finish working on a project though for school. I'm gonna pop in some photos right here because I'm kind of proud of them. And I'm too glad, I, I am glad I have some classes to take my mind off stuff. So I'm, I'm glad I could do a little bit of Alice in Wonderland-esque photo shooting. So. <laughs> I definitely don't want to stop school anytime soon, but if I'm stopping work, which I'm really hoping I don't have to do, we can figure everything out first, but if I'm not working, I'm not doing school, I need to make a whole video about, like, my situation financially, where my family's at, where I'm at, and all of that, but, yeah, basically, this week hasn't been a good week, but I'm hopeful that next week will be, so on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and see y'all later. Go ahead and check out my Instagrams. Check out my channel. I'm not good at vlogging, but <laughs> I'm here and I'm doing it. I'm having a good time. It makes me feel less alone, so I'm gonna keep doing it, so subscribe if you want to see more.